Hello again from the Hearts at War exhibition. Um, just a quick video, uh, part of uh, today's uploads, looking at some of the items that we're uh, very pleased to have on display here at the exhibition. Um, so this particular um, set is uh, a wallet and photographs belonging to Corporal Bill Taylor of the 1st Battalion Harpsteer Regiment. Um, Bill's wartime experiences were really quite interesting. He was a military medal and bar winner. Um, he was awarded his military medal uh, on the 13th of November 1916 at the latter stages of the Battle of the Somme and uh, he actually won his, uh, the bar, or was awarded the bar to his military medal the same day that this wallet took the, uh, the damage that it did. Um, the story very briefly is um, the Hertfordshire Regiment's attack at the Battle of St Julian on the 31st of July 1917. Um, which marked the opening day of uh, the third battle of Ypres that we're today called Passchendaele. Um, on that day, Corporal Taylor was uh, uh, serving actually a lance corporal at the time. Um, in the advance, we think he was possibly attached to one of the Lewis gun sections, um, and was in the advance when the Hearts reached the ebb of their attack um, up towards the Langemark line before being uh, coming under very heavy machine gunner shell fire and being held up by uh, yards and yards of very thick barbed wire. Now um, uh, as the events unfolded the uh, battalion was effectively wiped out with the remnants having to f uh, form a fighting rear guard to actually make their way back to their start line of the day uh, coming under two very heavy ca enemy counterattacks from the left and right flank. Um, sometime during that episode um, Bill's wallet took what we think is probably a shrapnel, a piece of shrapnel, um, which actually pissed, went through his his greatcoat, his tunic, his webbing strap, um, into one side of this fairly thick leather wallet, through each of these individual panels, through one of the insides, and damaged the back, and of course all seven or six of the seven of these images, um, which he carried with him of his family. Um, obviously a, a fairly close shave, uh, Bill actually was wounded three times during the Great War and uh, on this day, although uh, he did take this, uh, what we assume um, just by the size and shape of the damage was, uh, was a piece of shell, um, he still went on to win a military medal for um, uh, pushing back an enemy counter-attack on that day and really doing some, uh, some fantastic, uh, fantastic work. Um, statistics for the day didn't read that well for the Hertfordshire Regiment. They lost 620. Uh, they lost 479 of their 620 men, either killed, wounded, or captured at St Julian, um, including every one of the 20 officers that started the attack. So it was people like sergeants and corporals like Bill Taylor that um, actually uh, were instrumental in bringing out what few men were left of the, uh, of the Hertfordshire Regiment at the end of that attack. So uh, a really nice set of. Uh, set of items that we're, we're very pleased to have on display here and I uh, hope you find them interesting. Thanks.